Hello guys, it is TurtleCraftsy1, and I am going to be telling you guys how to avoid bootleg action figures when you're searching online. Most of the time you'll find them on eBay, so I guess we'll start off here. Now, we'll be focusing on bootleg Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures today, so I'm just going to type in TMNT figure, and that should bring up a bunch of results. So, this guy... Um, he might be a bootleg, I'm not sure. Yeah, I th think this guy is safe. The only thing that gives me the tip off here is that the eyes are painted. And the teeth are weird. Wait. There's also the fact that on the L, it looks like a D that was scratched off, but I guess that's... Okay, so we'll ignore that for now. Ooh. These will be a good example. Now, these guys, I can tell almost for a fact that they're bootlegs. Because, um, well, one, you can see here that they're from China. So. Most of bootlegs come from China. So, these, al these guys also don't look quite authentic, either. So, that's also a large tip off if they don't actually look authentic they're probably not so yeah these guys are bootlegs look at them individually see there's the backs they don't look quite authentic now let's look at them individually yeah uh, Donatello's bow staff looks like it's getting too thin by this end of the bow staff and it too thick over here. Or actually not thick enough. Michelangelo's nunchucks, they're fine, but there's a obvious little paint error on Michelangelo where there's some orange painted on his nose on accident. Raphael, the paint on his bandana just looks really weak. And Leonardo, uh, just look at this thing. This is disgusting. Look at this thing. I swear, this is the big tip-off that these guys are bootlegs. Well, there's also the fact that there's no crack in Roth's shell here. There's also the fact that Leo has these awful katana blades. His shell looks like it's the same color as the rest of his body. His feet look awful. This is either just a really bad Photoshop or a really bad picture. Knowing these people that make the bootlegs is probably both. But what the heck are these things? Are these bootlegs? No, these are customs, looks like. What are they? I don't know what these are. Don't look. I don't even know what those are. So we'll just ignore those for now. If those are bootlegs, you can tell me. Uh, cause, or just tell me what they are in general, because I really have no clue. Uh, these are the same bootlegs they look like. Yeah, these are the same bootlegs. They have the same errors. Raphael's non crack shell. Leonardo looks a little off still. Michelangelo has still has some paint errors and stuff. I'm surprised I haven't come across my the ones that I'm looking for seeing. Uh, these are the ones that I've been after. Now, these guys are the most heavily bootlegged uh, Ninja Turtles figures on the internet. Possibly the most bootlegged figures on the internet. If not, that would be the Dragon Ball Ultimate Figure Series, guys. But, <coughs> these guys, they, for a while, they actually look right. I actually ordered a, um, uh, Michelangelo, that should come in soon. But, these guys, they don't look right at all. See, now, their, their paint app and everything is fine. Their weapons look alright, except for the fact that Leo's bow, or Donnie's bow, is bent off a little here. But, can you f figure out what's wrong? It's the fact that they have the colored bandanas. Now, in the original NECA Turtles, the original Turtles comics, which were the ones that these NECA figures were based on, they had all red bandanas like Raphael's, but these all have the painted bandanas, to be more cartoon accurate. So these are definitely bootlegs, again, shipped from China, stuff like that. But, 
those are really the only kinds of bootlegs that I've seen. We might find we might find some more. Um, there's the new Casey Jones. I'll be picking that up soon. Uh, there's a custom Tucker. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. That's not that expensive either. That's a rather cheap custom. Odd. There's a. I I haven't seen very many other bootlegs other than these. This I would assume is okay. You know, just because something comes from China doesn't make it a bootleg. Except these. Where do these ship from? These are shipping from China. These are shipping from China. These are, these are definitely bootlegs. These are bootlegs of the classic turtles from Playmates. They're relatively new. Um, but I can just definitely tell that these guys are bootlegs. Well, because one, or... There's this basic white background that they always use on these bootleg figures. I don't know, it just makes them look more professional, I guess, these bootleggers think. Um, but... Most of these figures look good. The things that tip that are tipping me off here are Donatello and Michelangelo. Now, usually, Donatello has these... Like, weird derpy eyes, where one eye is facing one way, the eyes another is facing the other way. Those are fixed. I know for a fact that they haven't fixed those, even though I haven't picked one of these up. But every single one I've seen um, has had that error. And Michelangelo's nunchucks. <laughs> the nunchucks. What What are those? What are those? The Raphael looks okay. His eyes look a little odd. Uh, Leonardo looks fine. These, the weapons look okay, aside from the Michelangelo ones, looking really awful, and some smudging on the Donatello bow staff, but other than that, these guys are actually pretty good, but I know for a fact that they're bootlegs, so I would ignore them, and I would hope you do too. These, I haven't seen very many bootlegs of the vintage guys, what are these? Uh, are these... Authentic? They look authentic, but I don't know. I haven't seen these molds for the turtles. The movie turtles. And there's... They're saying that they're giant, so I guess they might be a variant. Alright, so this guy's a bootleg, too. It's a bootleg of Donatello, but he actually does have the red bandana, so they some of them have the painted bandana, some of them have the plain red. This guy, I guess, has the red. But he's a definitely bootleg. They all come in that weird window. The two bucks. I'll just check the third page, and that should be good. Uh, these guys look fine up from here. That's just another bootleg. These, I guess, are authentic. That's a bootleg. Leonardo has the same problems bootleg Donatello. The orange bow staff that he shouldn't actually have. I didn't mention that in my last one. These are just bad art. These NECA guys. Or the Lego guys. Oh, wait. There's also a, a bootleg set of the uh, Lego TMNT guys come ar going around. Uh, let's do Lego TMNT lot. See? Because there's this lot of six guys just floating around the internet. The tip-off is that the paint doesn't look quite right on these guys. They all come with pizza and skateboards. Skateboards with stickers on them. Only I've only seen two skateboards come in these sets. And that was with the sewer layer attack set. So... These are bootlegs. We've checked out actually quite a few. There's multiple lots of these bootlegs. TNMT guys. This. What? I'm going to assume that's an actual set. Don't know what it is. 
but I've seen that crying before, so I know that's probably an authentic set. Alright, so that will be all, and I will see you guys later.